What's good guys? What's good with y'all man? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you aren't new, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And guys, it's been about three months um, since I posted a Maz video, a Maz related video. Um, school's over for now. Uh, fall semester's over. I got one more spring semester, but man, senior year is tough. And it's just, it was draining me, man. And I was not in the mood to post videos after long days and, you know, Mavs playing late. So forgive me. I know I've lost a lot of you guys along the way, but for you guys that are still supporting me, I appreciate it a lot. And I was actually going to post a video yesterday um, if the Mavs won because I wanted to come back on a good note, um, but unfortunately they did lose in overtime to the Lakers and again, I feel like we kind of let slip away. And if you guys do follow me on Twitter, uh, my Twitter is the same as my YouTube name, uh, Dewan. So y'all see that I, I tweeted and I said, the maps always find a way to let the game slip away. Um, and that's kind of like what I want to base this video around and kind of like what's gone wrong with the Mavs over these last, these last games, man. So felt like we started the season off pretty good. We started um, pretty healthy. Um, unlike last season where we had, you know, the COVID protocols, although COVID has been hitting pretty hard as of recently in all major league sports. Um, but yeah, I felt like we got off to a good start. Everybody was healthy. Um, the off season acquisitions were looking good. Reggie Bullock was looking good in the beginning of the season. Um, we had uh, Moses Brown and I don't know. I had high hopes for Willie. The white pal was like, eh. But where I think the Mavs went wrong was off season, not making big enough a push. Uh, as you guys have seen probably in the recent recent month or so, how the Rangers went out and just spent crazy money to improve their team, you know, get what they needed. And I don't know if Mark Cuban was looking into that or, you know, like, there's got to be something. We can't just keep the same team with a couple extra, you know, role players. If KP is not playing great, then, you know, we kind of stuck, man. And we're, we're looking like we're going to head to that first round exit if we don't change things. We need a big man. We need to get rid of Willie. Willie's numbers are absolutely terrible. Um, and I was a guy that really wanted to see him succeed after coming um, from the Warriors and I just, he just hasn't, you know, sparked any interest that I would want him to play more um, minutes than, you know, our other centers. So Dwight Powell has been okay, but he can't get a rebound to save his life. Really, our rebounds are crazy. We, we cannot keep the other team off the boards. If they have a real traditional big man, it's going to be a tough game for us, for sure. Um, what else do I want to talk about, man? Um, just last night in general, bro. Like, I know we don't have Luca, but we can't keep the lead. Fourth quarter comes, everyone starts choking. Reggie Bullock, I feel like he needs to get out. Um, my first impression of him from the Knicks was I thought he was going to be great, you know? Um, three point, three and D uh, guard. Um, he shot over 40% last season. And he plays great defense, so you know what? And why not Adam? You know, we don't have Seth Curry anymore, which I am regretting. Um, I think at the time I was like, you know what? Rick Carlisle and the um, office may be making a good move for defense with getting Josh Richardson. Josh Richardson was terrible. Um, I would much rather have Seth Curry. Um, but in, the, in that moment, I think they were going for defense. But Seth Curry is just way more valuable than any of these players that we've had. Um, trying to get someone like him, you know, that we already gave gave away. And Seth Curry wanted to be a Dallas Maverick. That's the thing that hurts the most. Um, but y'all have been hearing the trade blocks, the trade rumors um, that the Mavs are possibly interested in Kyrie Irving and um, Porzingis came up in the, in the uh, trade talks. Don't know if they were, um, you know, if it went any further than just bringing up Porzingis or not. Um, but let me know what you guys think about Kyrie Irving to the Mavs. Uh, I'm not sure how that would work out with Luka, but, you know, as my friend said yesterday, you know, they're both superstars and, you know, if they're going to make it work, then they're going to make it work. So let me know what you guys think about Kyrie Irving to the Mavs. Um, I still would love Buddy Hill to the Mavs. Um, 
him and Marvin Bagley are um, in trade talks. And uh, Sabonis from the Pacers, he says he wants out apparently. Um, and Miles Turner, Miles Turner would be great. I feel like we really need a big man, a real big man that can actually prove that he's a big presence in the paint, grab rebounds, and work well with Luka. That's the number one thing. You gotta be able to work with Luka and how his play style is. Two, we need to get another shooter, bro. Tim Hardaway has been super inconsistent this season. Um, he can't play defense to save his life. And we can't really count on him as much as we could. Let me check the uh, stats from last game. You know, because that was a play I was like, you know, I hope the Mavs really go out and try to, um, you know, extend his contract, which they did. But here, let me look it up. Yesterday. What was yesterday? Date the 15th. And I watched all of yesterday's game, bro. The Mavs were playing great until the end of the game. Um, and KP and... Um, Maxi want to fight over the rebound, and that was that. So uh, let's look. Reggie Bullock yesterday, 0 for 4. Zero points in 20 minutes. Like, that's what I'm talking about, bro. You know what? Let me let me go ahead and pull it up on the screen for y'all, because even though my laptop is about to die, I want y'all to see what I'm seeing. This is just yesterday's game, like, and this is kind of like what's been going on. Okay, there we go for, you know, the last few games now. So as we can see here, without Luka, K KP showed up and Brunson has showed up. Brunson has been playing great. But if we want any high caliber player, another team is probably gonna want Jalen Brunson, bro. Let's just be honest. They're gonna want Brunson bad. Um, but KP, Brunson, look at them. Showing up for the starters. Dwight Powell, just taking up space. How are you a starting big man and only have three rebounds, bro? You're a starting big man. That's what I'm talking about, bro. <sighs> I mean, I guess, I don't know if KP's playing, well, the, I guess there's double centers, but geez, bro, three rebounds? You know what I'm saying? Finney Smith's getting more boards than him. And he had 10 points, one for six from three. Like, we just can't shoot threes anymore. We went 12 for 44, 27%. Tim Hardaway off the bench went four for 11. You know, he hit a big three at the end of the game. He's playing 40 minutes almost. Kleba, three for five. He's pretty decent. Uh, Trey Burke, 0 for five. Like, we just cannot hit any shots, bro. And this is not just, you know, and let me see if I can click the, the maps and we can go game by game. Like, um, the loss against the Pacers. Let's see what that was about. Tim Hardaway, one for nine. Reggie Bullock, 0 for two. All of our starters made three threes in the whole game. And that's including Luka, one for eight, two for six. Like, we can't expect to win games like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Boban hasn't touched the floor ever. I don't think I've ever seen him on the floor. I mean, also, I, I hadn't really been watching the games like during the season. I mean, during the school. So, I don't know, guys. You let me know what y'all think it is. I think we need to go out and get a big man for sure. Um, and get rid of, I don't know, man. Bullock, I know he hasn't had time to show, but I think there's so much more, man. I, I feel like Frank should be getting way more minutes than than he has been doing, you know? And let's let's look at the, the mass schedule. Like we're we're twelve and thirteen. We're the I think we're the seventh seed in the in the West. Or we were the seventh um, before the loss last night. So I don't know, man. There's a lot going on. The game against the Nets, we had them beat the whole game. We had them beat the whole game. Then what happened? Well, we can see what happened. KD, you're not stopping KD. KD only had 24, but let's look at us. Nine for 36 on, nine for 46 on threes, bro. Like, where has our three-point shooting gone? What's going on? Finney Smith had the best uh, three-point percentage. Our bench only had one three the whole game. 
from Jalen Brunson. Tim Hardaway, 0 for 7. Bullock, 0 for 6. I don't know what it is, man. And then let's talk about Mark Cuban on Twitter saying that, you know, he doesn't value um, what people on Twitter say. Like, that's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? I think a fan at the game last night had a, a poster saying, um, Mark, uh, Twitter fans are real fans too. Like, we're, we're, we're honestly probably the best fans. If y'all are on Twitter, bro, and y'all are following the mass hashtag and all that, we're really concerned and we want the team to get better. We're not bashing anybody, but things need to be made. Moves need to be made. Moves need to be made. If we're gonna, my computer just died. If we're going to make it, I hope, I hope it saved. I hope the video saved. If it didn't, then uh, oh well. But we're not getting out the West with this team. Y'all see how the Warriors are playing. The Lakers are always gonna be in the mix uh, because of Braun and you know, there's still some stacked teams. The Suns, I just don't see us beating those teams in a seven-game series looking like this. You know what I'm saying? So express you guys can, uh, the concern you guys have in the comment section. Um, maybe some trades you would like to see made, you know? Um, give who you would give the, the team. So let's say um, I saw a trade for um, Sabonis. It would have to be Willie, Trey Burke, Jalen Brunson, and... Um, two second round picks or something like that um buddy hill trades all that let me know who you guys really want to see the maps go get or if you guys want them to keep reggie bullock and you know you want to just give them time let me know but i personally feel like from watching the games as much as i can that we need some we need some movement bro you know what i'm saying this team is not going to get it done big men are struggling every night um it's not a good recipe for success so I love you guys. I'm going to be making more videos. Um, I don't have anything to do, so I really don't have an excuse. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know when the mass play again. My computer died and I'm recording on my phone. So be, for, be looking forward to seeing me um, again pretty soon for the next Mavs game. I love you guys. Thanks for all the love and support. Leave your comments down below. I will be reading them all. And um, I'm out, bro.